Welcome to Spark and our first ever Fight the Darkness competition, a charity event that directly benefits the Alzheimer's Association as well as local families in the area who are trying to navigate this tragic disease. We're gonna take a look at how Alzheimer's or dementia has affected people right under the roof of Spark, as well as how we can continue the fight beyond today. I grew up in a family of seven kids Diane, my oldest sister, is 65. She's four years older than I am, and she was diagnosed with early onset dementia um, about five years ago. Diane is currently in full memory care, living very close to us in Andover. Um, she's there due to her battles primarily with hallucinations and the possibility of elopement, which means she may flee uh, during any one of these events. She's under the watch of a trained caring staff. They're fantastic. Uh, they're there, they're meant to be there to redirect her, provide that support whenever she has a serious event. They also give her purpose, which for any Alzheimer dementia patient is extremely important. They still want to lead a life. They do not want to be defined by dementia or the disease. She's 65 years old. She's physically fit, fully functional, and probably the youngest one in in her care facility. Um, she's able to help out caring for the elderly, which she does every day. She helps out in the kitchen. And she tells me she goes to work every day and she loves what she's doing. That puts a big smile on my face every time I see her. I can say I think about my sister Diane every day and the constant battles she faces with her anxieties, her fears, and her depression. She's an extremely brave individual and she fights every day to not let dementia divine who she is. She will always be my oldest sister with the crazy laugh, the soothing voice, and the beautiful caring soul. Hi, my name is Laura. I wanted to share with you my family's experience with early onset Alzheimer's. My husband Paul was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's when he was 48 years old. I met him when he was 25 years old. We went on to build a beautiful life together. He was a very successful mortgage broker. We built a home in Andover, had a summer home in Newport, and raised three beautiful daughters. He was bright, educated, athletic, social, loving husband, beloved father, and a loyal friend. I started noticing changes in him when he was 45 years old. He gradually started losing interest in all his favorite activities. He stopped playing softball, then basketball, stopped seeing his friends, became more and more withdrawn until he eventually stopped working. Many months, countless tests and doctor visits, he was diagnosed with early onset at the age of 48. As you can see from these photos, Alzheimer's gradually stole his intellect, ability to enjoy life, his memories, his ability to communicate at all, and his mobility. He now lives in a locked memory unit. He's 52 years old. He requires help with every aspect of living. Sadly, he no longer remembers our life together. He does not remember the fact that he has three daughters or any of the beautiful memories we created over the past 28 years. The impact of this cruel disease is felt deeply by all those who love and care for those suffering with Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's steals little pieces of him daily, and all we can do is sit back and watch him disappear. There are no survivors of Alzheimer's, but I hope through events like these, funding research, and sharing our story, that my daughters will witness the first survivor. My grandfather lived with me for most of his battle with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. 
my grandfather was uh, brought up in the Ukraine. He worked in a work camp uh, that was occupied by U.S. soldiers during the Holocaust. He helped my dad build two homes. He helped raise us, feed us, kept us in line, was pretty stern, but thanks, Papa. We appreciate you for it. And I slowly watched his decline. And at first we didn't even know what was going on and watching it all happen and watching him have to leave our family home and watching what happened once he did have to go to a specific uh, facility. I started to learn a lot about how nutrition and stress and sleep and movement can help us let our brains stay healthier for longer. And so a lot of what I do it, it personally and in my department and for our clients here in, in Spark and beyond is to make sure that we're living holistically healthy lives. You being here today is part of the fight, but the fight doesn't stop there. Let's take our passion for healthy fitnessing and nutrition and bring others around to keep the fight going day in and day out. Yeah, this is something where exercise, nutrition, sleep, hydration, stress management can not only stop the progression of diseases like Alzheimer's, but can also stop them before they start. Bring them all in and keep fighting the darkness. Thank you for being here today. Let's get it. Let's crush it. <laughs>